This is the Music History Today podcast for October 25th. On today's show, Cliff Richard gets knighted, an archbishop condemns a form of music, and Crush Groove premieres. First up, though, on this date in 1938, the Archbishop of Dubuque said that swing music would lead kids down the primrose path to hell and that it was, quote, a degenerated musical system that was turned loose to gnaw away at the moral fiber of young people, end quote. Good thing he didn't live long enough to hear hip-hop. He probably would have tried to shut down record labels at that point. Anywho, in 1961, old grade school friends Mick Jagger and Keith Richards ran into each other for the first time in years as both of them were going off to different universities. They realized that they had the same tastes in music and from there they went off and formed the Rolling Stones. In 1964, the Rolling Stones, speaking of, performed on the Ed Sullivan TV show for the very first time. In 1967, the Beatles worked on the song Hello Goodbye, and the movie musical Camelot premiered. In 1968, the New Yardbirds performed for the first time under their new name, Led Zeppelin. In 1976, Bruce Springsteen played his first stadium concert that was in Philadelphia. In 1977, Elton John was the guest on The Muppet Show TV Show, a classic episode if I must say so myself. In 1985, the hip-hop movie Crush Groove premiered in movie theaters. In 1993, Time Magazine put Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam on their cover with an article trying to explain why so many kids were listening to, quote, angry music, end quote. That angry music, by the way, according to Time Magazine, was grunge music, which it wasn't really angry, but, you know, old folk. In 1996, the first OzFest music festival took place. In 1997, Johnny Cash revealed during a concert that he had Parkinson's disease. In 2000, Napster released a version of its software for Max. In 2013, the group Winner was formed. In 2014, Taylor Swift applied for a bunch of her phrases from her songs to be trademarked. And in 2017, Kenny Rogers held his farewell concert. In classical music, in 1875, Tchaikovsky's Piano Concerto No. 1 premiered. In 1885, Johannes Brahms premiered his Fourth Symphony in E. In 1953, Dmitry Shostakovich finished his 10th symphony, and in 1974, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his 15th string quartet. In theater, in 1940, the musical Cabin in the Sky opened on Broadway, and in 1995, the musical Victor Victoria opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 25th in 1995, Cliff Richard was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II. Albums that were released in the UK on October 25th include in 1968 when the Jimi Hendrix Experience released Electric Ladyland. Meanwhile, in America in 1969, Pink Floyd released Uma Goomba. In 1971, the Jeff Beck Group released Rough and Ready and Chicago released Chicago at Carnegie Hall Volumes 1 through 4, better known as Chicago 4. Also on that same day, The Doors released Other Voices. In 1972, Poco released A Good Feeling to Know. In 1974, Bob Marley and the Wailers released Natty Dread. In 1975, Paul Simon released Still Crazy After All These Years, a big album for him. In 1976, Al Di Miola released Land of the Midnight Sun, and Joe Walsh released You Can't Argue with a Sick Mind. In 1980, Aretha Franklin released Aretha. In 1984, Culture Club released Waking Up with the House on Fire. In 1985, The Cars released their Greatest Hits album. In 1986, Howard Jones released One to One. The Police released their Greatest Hits album, Every Breath You Take the Singles. In 1988, The Traveling Wilburys released their Traveling Wilburys Volume 1, the first album under the supergroup. Also in 1988, Frank Zappa released You Can't Do That on Stage Anymore, Volume 2. In 1994, Common Sense released Resurrection, and the Psychedelic Furs released Here Come the Psychedelic Furs, B-Sides and Lost Grooves. Also in 1994, Madonna released Bedtime Stories, Joni Mitchell released Turbulent Indigo, and Bob Seger released his Greatest Hits album. 
In 1996, Madonna released the soundtrack to the movie Evita, The Brian Jones Massacre released Thank God for Mental Illness. In 1999, Faithless released Sunday 8 p.m. to Saturday 3 a.m. In 2004, P.J. Harvey released the iTunes Originals, P.J. Harvey, and Man for Man released 2006. In 2005, Berlin released Foreplay, Jerry Garcia released Garcia Plays Dylan, Bette Midler released Bette Midler Sings the Peggy Lee Songbook, Aerosmith released Rockin' the Joint, and Duran Duran released Duran Duran Live from London. In 2010, Taylor Swift released Speak Now, Devin Allman's Honey Tribe released Space Age Blues, and Kansas released The Essential Kansas, and in 2019, Neil Young released Colorado. Singles that were released on October 25th in the UK include in 1968 when episode 6 released Lucky Sunday and the Moody Blues released Ride My Seesaw. Meanwhile, in America, in 1962, the Marvelettes released Strange, I know. In 1967, Diana Ross and the Supremes released In and Out of Love and the Monkees did a twofer. They released Daydream Believer and Going Down. In 1968, The Temptations released Cloud Nine. In 1974, Paul McCartney and Wings released Junior's Farm. Barry White released You're the First, The Last, My Everything. And The Rolling Stones did a twofer. They released Dance Little Sister and Ain't Too Proud to Beg. In 1986, Timbuk Three released The Future So Bright, I Gotta Wear Shades. In 1988, Bucks Fizz released Heart of Stone, and in 1993, Pearl Jam released Go. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 25th include singer Katy Perry, classical composer Johann Strauss II, singer Ciara, Romeo Jones of Immature, classical composer George Bizet, Neil Fallon of the group Clutch, Ed Robertson of the group The Bare Naked Ladies, Speech of Arrested Development, John Levin of Europe, Chad Smith of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Chrissy Amphlett of the Divinals, Matthias Jabs of the Scorpions, Chris Norman of Smokey, Glenn Tipton of Judas Priest, John Hall of the Equals, Taffy Danoff of the Starland Vocal Band, John Anderson of Yes, Dick Todd of the Standells, Roy Linz of Status Quo, singer Helen Reddy, Phil Volk of Paul Revere and the Raiders, country music singer Gene Black, jazz musician Jimmy Littlebird Heath, drummer Earl Palmer, Austin Winkler of Hinder, Robbie McIntosh of The Pretenders, Richard Lloyd of Television, country music singer and comedian extraordinaire Miss Minnie Pearl, Mark Miller of Sawyer Brown, DJ Webstar, DJ Sidekick, Lee No of The Stray Kids, singers Felix Sandman, singer Rylan Clark, and rapper Lola Monroe. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 25th include composer Ludwig Maurier, who passed away in 1878 at the age of 89. The founder of the Halley Orchestra, Charles Halley, passed away in 1895 at the age of 76. Composer Teresa Malinolo passed away in 1904 at the age of 77. Composer Edmund Turpin passed away in 1907 at the age of 72. Composer Herman Kipper passed away in 1910 at the age of 84. Composer Sergei Borkowitz passed away in 1952 at the age of 75. Composer Jose Padilla passed away in 1960 at the age of 71. Organist Virgil Fox passed away in 1980 at the age of 68. Singer Morton Downey Sr., the father of TV talk show host Morton Downey Jr., passed away in 1985 at the age of 83. 
Singer Gary Holton of the Heavy Metal Kids passed away in 1985 at the age of 33. Johnny Richardson of Johnny and Joe passed away in 1988 at the age of 53. Rock promoter Bill Graham passed away in a helicopter accident while coming back from a Huey Lewis and the News concert in 1991 at the age of 60. Margot J. Sylvia of the Toon Weavers passed away from heart issues in 1991 at the age of 55. Singer Roger Miller, who did the song King of the Road, passed away in 1992 at the age of 56. Singer Danny Chan passed away in 1993 at the age of 35. Singer and actor Richard Harris passed away from Hodgkin's disease in 2002 at the age of 72. Composer Robert Strasberg passed away in 2003 at the age of 88. Singer Muslim Makaveyev passed away in 2008 at the age of 66. Reggae star Gregory Isaacs passed away from cancer in 2010 at the age of 59. Jack Bruce, the legendary bassist of Cream, passed away in 2014 at the age of 71. Composer John Manduel passed away in 2017 at the age of 89. Jazz saxophonist Sonny Fortune passed away in 2018 at the age of 79. Composer Chow Wen Chung passed away in 2019 at the age of 96. And lyricist Jules Bass of Claymation Stop Animation Production House Rankin Bass Productions, who did all of your favorite Christmas classics like The Year Without a Santa Claus, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Frosty the Snowman, passed away in 2022 at the age of 87. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 26th, when in 2002, a hostage situation at a theater building in Moscow ended in disaster. 